So for the alignment, I need you to observe one simple thing. The WCS is lying here, while our object is lying here. What we want is that I need to align this box in X, Y and Z axis and then find the center of this box. So let's see how we are going to achieve this. To explain you roughly, let me draw the three axes of this box. If I place this box in an isometric view, like this, what I want is that if I draw three mutually perpendicular axes, I want this edge of my box to be x axis, this one. And I want this axis of my box to be my y axis, which is this one. And normal or perpendicular to this box is z axis. I can either select the top portion, which is here, or the bottom portion, that is here, for the alignment of my z axis. So I am choosing the top portion. You can do it by selecting the bottom portion also which is this. So let's start. I will first choose a line from here. Be careful that I want point on face to be selected. So I will turn on. I will select my, start, select my starting point being careful that I don't press the radius of this object. So roughly here. And second point at the diagonal position. That is here. I will press apply. And I will draw the second line in roughly opposite side which is here and here now we will press ok now I will take extrude command which is here I will select this curve and give this line as my vector I will extend it a little bit and press OK. Let me extend it sheet a bit more. For that purpose, I will use extend sheet command here. Now as you can see, my sheet here is overlapping with my scan data from all the areas. I can adjust and see if there is any improvement. For that purpose, I will adjust this point and put somewhere here. Press OK. And here also I will do the same. I will pick up this point and keep it somewhere here. Now as you can see the previous result was better than this one because if I was a here and here my overlapping is going out of hand. Now this is a hit and trial method for many iterations you will observe that you have reached a final position. My final position is this only. So what I will do now is that I will place my WCS on this sheet which is going to be my Z axis. For that purpose I will go to format WCS or in WCS command and I will select CS files of object and click here which will going to be my reference object. So this sheet acts as my reference object now. 
Now if I press OK and press W to show my WCS, you can observe that this is my absolute WCS which is the original WCS and this here is my temporary WCS and I found my Z axis. What I will do now is that I will find X and Y axis using this Z axis. So let's find it. I am going to cut a section of this object using the section curve command which can be found here. Now choosing this as my object, this as my plane, I will now cut a section parallel to this plane. A little bit down here where I don't interfere with my targets. Yeah, that is the right position. Now I will keep in mind that this associative feature is ticked off and output sample points is ticked on. Now be careful that the larger this distance the lesser the processing speed will be. Means my extracted object points will have 1 mm distance. This is a big object. So I do not have to put this value very low. So I will keep it 0.5 and press OK. Now this may take a while. Now as you can see, we have received these points here. I will see it from the top view. For that purpose, keep in mind that you cannot use the default top view command that is Control Alt T because this is not our original WCS. This is our temporary WCS. Now to view it from the Z plane, we have a different command which will be used throughout which can be seen here. Menu, View, Operation set view to WCS. Now if I press it, I can see that I can see my object from the top view. Now I need to hide this sheet, this curve and this curve. If I also observe this box that I need to hide, I can now see that I have received many points here. Also you can see that there are two layers of pine that is visible that is this one and this one. Now as I told you this box is not completely scanned from the inside but at the point where we have cut the section the scanning of outside portion and inside portion was available. That is why we have these two layers of points. Now you can select either of the layer. I am going from the outside layer which is this one for the alignment of my x-axis now we'll take a line and being careful I will select the points after this radius that is here and somewhere here I will press OK and now I will extend these line sorry this line now this is going to be my x axis and we all know that y axis is perpendicular or rather perpendicular to all the remaining two axes. So what I will do now is that I will again take the line 
but the perpendicular one I will select this point as my starting point I will choose this line as my referent for its perpendicularity I will press ok what I will do next is that I will make this axis or this line as my x axis and this line as my y axis and we already have our sheet as my z axis so let's do it for that purpose I will go to this command again and here now rather than selecting CSYSO object which was used for my z alignment I will use x y axis select this one as x and keep my arrow this side and choose this axis as my y axis what it will do is without disturbing the z plane that, uh, that you have previously found it will select x and y axis using that plane now if I press ok and show it from the top view again we can see that my box is aligned in x and y axis also now this x and this one is y now we will find the center of this object for that purpose I will create a rectangle on these points on these outer points using the line command select here be careful that, that you do not select the radius this point and as you can see this is now my y axis extend it a little bit now now you can see that it needs to be adjusted slightly now in this vector I will input value 106, 107, 108, 0.1, yeah, 0.1 is correct. So this line is coinciding with these points. What I will do now is I will move or copy this line using the move object command using control plus T, or you can find it here menu, edit, move object select this line copy this in this vector I need to have this line here to form the rectangle input some value 140 I will zoom and see what value is the nearest 145 150 150 at a little bit far. I'll try 148, 149.5. A little closer, 149, 149.35, 149.4. Yeah, this is coinciding, right? So I'll press OK. Now, I will extend this line and copy this line here. I will use the same command that is move object using control plus T. I will select this line, give Y as the vector 150, 
150 is very far 60 70 80 85 82 81 81.5, Yeah, this will work. I press OK. Now you can see that. I formed a rectangle here but I have some extra edges here, here and here also. I need to trim these using trim corner command which can be found here. Menu, edit, cut, here trim corner. Now be careful by selecting the corners. The lines have to be within the radius of this cursor. Yes. Here. Here. And last. Here. This is an isolated file line which I can hide so now I'm left with only this rectangle now as we know if I come at the center of this rectangle that will be the center of my box too for that purpose I will use the command origin WCS I will select it and from here, I will choose between two points. Select this as the first point and this as the second point. Notice showing that this will be the new position of my WCS, which is temporary only. So I'll press OK. Now this is the final position of my WCS. That means we are at the center of this box. To save this location so that I don't lo lose it in the future or by accident, I will use this command. Save WCS. I will press OK. Now as you can see, my WCS location is saved here. Now if I press W and hide my WCS, I can see that virtual WCS is formed. Now if I am lost, I can come to this WCS and continue my work. Press W again to view your current WCS position. In the next lecture, we will see how to convert this WCS which is temporary to our absolute WCS which will be permanent. And then we will be ready to start modeling our box.